Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, the pinnacle of childhood growth. Something that I never experienced. Like me for real here, look at these goofy ass kids. You think I wanted to grow up? You think I wanted pictures of myself looking like these fools? Now I can already hear you asking, Smokey, what's with the sudden disdain for Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts? Well, I can actually tell you because Friday, October 25th, AM. I learned a very big difference between Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Let me tell you, let me set the scenario for you. So I'm sitting in my math class, right? You know, you know, we get them goofy odd questions like, uh, Johnny has 14 bottles of dish detergent and Susie got 40 bottles of Kleenex. Stupid ass question. But the question was asking, uh, hey, if a, if a random dude walks up to the door and's like, hi there, would you like to buy some Boy Scout cookies? Most people's responses were, hell no, I wouldn't open that goddamn door. I wouldn't even respond in the first place. But that's besides the point. The question was asking basically if a random dude had done that or if a little Boy Scout would have done that. Side note, but this is just the ugly. Literally knowing nothing about Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, I'm like, yeah, I'd open the door. I'd buy some cookies from them. And my teacher just tells me, Landon, Boy Scouts don't sell cookies. Those are just for Girl Scouts. Hearing this information just factory reset my brain. I could not believe that information. I was flabbergasted, bamboozled, hoodwinked, run amok, flat out betrayed, and possibly Smackledorf. And I don't even think that last one's a real word. My friend next to me, he goes and tells me that like, oh yeah, nah dog, the Boy Scouts, they do all the hard manual labor, you know, like making, uh, making campfires, building stuff. The girls exclusively sell cookies. After hearing that, I'm just like, that's dumb as fuck though. Why? Why do just the Girl Scouts sell cookies? You're telling me if a, you're telling me if our dude, a little boy, walked up to your door, dressed up as a Boy Scout, knocked on your ear, he said, and he said, Excuse me, mister. I'm trying to raise fundraiser money for my Boy Scout group. You want to buy some mint sock and some cookies? My first question would be, why the f*** do you sound like a mixture of Carl Weezer and Sid the Sloth? And my second question would be, can I get any other flavors that aren't mint chocolate chip and how much? You know how much of a piece of trash you gotta be to deny a small child some money for a fundraiser just because they're a boy scout and not a girl scout? You know how dumb that sounds? Stupid dumb. That's how that sounds. This would be like if your grandfather slaved over his famous pot roast. We're talking delectable, delicable. We're talking so tasty when you when you eat when you eat it, you put it in your mouth, the taste buds in your mouth actually combine with the saliva and fucking explode. They come bust. I'm talking nut. And you tell him, yeah, it was alright. Are you are you really gonna sit there and have that immaculating experience and then just be the complete worst person ever? But then let's flip it. Grandma makes the worst brownies ever. She's putting kale, spinach, raisins, grapes. How the f you even put grapes and brownies? She tastes like that chocolate bar gumball found in his couch. Remember that? Oh, he's putting it in and his body was physically rejecting it by the time it went down his system he vomited it yeah it tastes like that and you tell her grandma i literally just nutted in my pants it was so good like literally i cannot contain the coming out of me what the fuck was that analogy okay uh, i got a little a little off topic the whole point though fuck girl scouts i want guys selling cookies too